A special thank you to each of our subscribers who make this channel possible. Here's today's story. Hogwarts Legacy isn't going to be a one-and-done game. During a recent interview, Warner Bros. Discovery CFO Gunnar Wiedenfels talked about the success of the game and its future for the company, namely Hogwarts Legacy 2. Obviously, a successor to Hogwarts Legacy is one of the biggest priorities in a couple of years down the road, he said per Variety. So there is certainly a significant growth contribution from that games business in our strategic outlook here. First released in February 2023 for PC, Xbox Series XS and PlayStation 5, Hogwarts Legacy was one of the best-selling games of the year. The game sold over 12 million copies in just two weeks and over 22 million for the year. The game also received an update in June for players. As far as when the next Hogwarts Legacy title will come, that's years away based on what Wiedenfels said. In the meantime, a Hogwarts Legacy director's cut is rumored to be in the works. When do you think we'll see a Hogwarts Legacy 2 from Warner Brothers? For more insider gaming, read what the CEO of Madfinger, the studio behind Grey Zone Warfare, had to say about taking on Escape from Tarkov. And don't forget to sign up for the Insider Gaming Wrap-Up, a once-a-week newsletter with exclusive columns, interviews, and more. Following the blockbuster success of Hogwarts Legacy, Warner Brothers is working towards a direct sequel, it has confirmed. Avalanche Software's Hogwarts Legacy has sold over 24 million copies since going on sale in February 2023, generating over $1 billion in revenue. It comes as little surprise, then, to learn that parent company Warner Brothers is keen on a Hogwarts Legacy 2. Speaking to Variety, Warner Brothers Discovery Chief, Financial Officer Gunnar Wiedenfels said the sequel is due in a couple of years. Obviously, a successor to Hogwarts Legacy is one of the biggest priorities in a couple of years down the road, Wiedenfels said. So there is certainly a significant growth contribution from that games business in our strategic outlook here. While Warner Brothers enjoyed a mega hit with Hogwarts Legacy, its gaming business has endured a tougher time this year following the disastrous launch of Rocksteady's Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League. Soon after the game's February 2024 release, Warner Brothers admitted the failure of Suicide Squad. Kill the Justice League contributed to a $200 million hit to revenue. According to Bloomberg, staff at Rocksteady are currently working on a director's cut of Hogwarts Legacy, while leadership pitches a return to single-player following this live service misstep. Rocksteady reportedly recently suffered layoffs. Despite these ups and downs, Wiedenfels said Warner Brothers Games Business, which also includes Mortal Kombat developer NetherRealm, continues to be a strategic asset for the overall company. This week the publisher released Harry Potter, Quidditch Champions, which is not connected to Hogwarts Legacy. It's also operating Smash Brothers, Style Brawler Multiversus, the VR-exclusive Arkhamverse game Batman, Arkham Shadow, and has a Wonder Woman game in development at Shadow of Mordor developer Monolith Productions. Wesley is the UK news editor for IGN. Find him on Twitter at, at WIP100. You can reach Wesley at Wesley underscore Eampool at IGN.com or confidentially at WIP100 at Protonomy. In the 18 months since its release, Hogwarts Legacy has emerged as one of the biggest hits of Warner Brothers Discovery's video game division. To date, 24 million copies of the game have been sold across all consoles and PC. Although a follow-up game hasn't been formally announced, WBD isn't being ambiguous about its plans. According to one executive with the company, getting a sequel to the Harry Potter-inspired title is at the top of WBD's wish list. The video game industry is, just like the film business, a hit-driven business, explained WBD CFO Gunnar Weidenfels via The Hollywood Reporter. Obviously a successor to Hogwarts Legacy is one of the biggest priorities in a couple years down the road. Weidenfels didn't offer any other details about a potential Hogwarts Legacy sequel, but his remarks seem to indicate that the next game is still years away at the earliest. The original game was developed by Avalanche Software, and the story was set roughly a century before the life of Harry Potter. Players were given the freedom to create their own characters, who were students at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, and that proved to be very enticing to action RPG gamers. Unfortunately, like the upcoming Harry Potter TV series on HBO, Hogwarts Legacy has been haunted by franchise creator J.K. Rowling's anti-trans views, which she reiterated as recently as the Paris Olympics. Rowling's stance has put her at odds with several of the actors from the Harry Potter films, 
as well as a large number of her fans. Warner Brothers Discovery has said that a Hogwarts Legacy sequel is a big priority for the company. Speaking at the Bank of America conference on September 4th, via Variety, C. That's all for this story. We upload videos every day covering many different subjects, so hit that subscribe button to stay informed. Thanks for watching.